shock. I mean, children aren't supposed to handle that sort of stuff. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh, yeah. I was surrounded by them. For years now, as evidenced on Nightline in 2011, Corey Feldman has been claiming that he and his good friend, the late Corey Haim, were victims of molestation when they were young actors. Last year, he opened up to our Alex Hudgens. Why did kids are scared. Them? You know, kids don't think I'm going to go. First of all, for me, the person that was doing it to me the most, you know, um, well, I mean, I could say that the, the two people that did it to me were both close friends of mine. Or so I thought. Feldman claims Haim endured more than him. In his book, Choreography, he alleges that Haim was raped on the set of the 1986 film, Lucas. The following year, 1987, their film, The Lost Boys, came out. It was when we were both on the set of Lost Boys that, you know, things were happening to both of us. You know, not from anyone on the set, may I clear that up, but, you know, outside elements. How do people not know when these are two... Or, or did they know and they just weren't doing anything about it? I mean, I know he told a lot of people. That's the thing that's so upsetting to me. It's not like it's just me that knows this story. Other people know. A lot of people know. They're still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. Back in 2013, on The View, Feldman was insistent that perpetrators are still out there, but says he won't name names due to statute of limitation laws in California. He also has another reason that echoes something we've heard regarding Harvey Weinstein. From what I've seen, every time somebody tries to bring up a public name and they have a lot of money and power and a publicity machine behind them, the person who does the accusing is the one that ends up looking bad. They would pull away the better looking younger kids and keep them for their own after party and it would turn into a pool party and then they'd have their rules oh there's no swimsuits on in the pool in the wake of the weinstein scandal the producers of the film an open secret about teen sex abuse in hollywood released the film for free on vimeo for nine days much of the film focuses on the organized system within hollywood for grooming and then abusing children At the end of the day it's got to change there's so many people out there that have been affected by this